It's a cool design, my friend. It's not bad, but it needs some adjustments, you know? The sky is very bright. The product itself, which should be the focal point in our design, is small. And the composition itself is not serving the focal point, which is this product. The plants, however, is getting a lot of attention here. So there is no hierarchy. There is a problem in the hierarchy in the visual. Light distribution needs some work. Final thing, I prefer the golden hour time in this kind of visual. So instead of just criticizing this visual in words, I'll show you how I would do it in real commercial. So without any further ado, let's start our journey. Long time, new haircut. Let me just tell you a brief about what we're going to do in this video. I have received this visual from my friend Hamdi Samir and he wanted me to tell him what are the mistakes that are in the design. So instead of just criticizing the design and telling the mistakes by words, I just decided to remake the design with the new edits in my perspective. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and see how my version would look like. Okay, the rules here were that I wanted to create the same design, the same vibes, overall vibes in the design, almost the same elements of the main design. I will just focus on the techniques of the photo manipulation, blending images together, basically the execution of the, his idea in a good professional way. By the way, this will be a breakdown in Photoshop of what I've done, but if you want the full length tutorial of this design for me explaining every step I took to create this visual, I've created a full length class in addition to other classes for other photo manipulations like this and you will find all this in one course in the link in the description along with the PSD file, the stock images used, the brushes used, fully narrated so don't miss it. So I like to start every design, every visual with the sky or at least the source of light, if there is no sky in the visual, because the sky gives you the colors and the mode of the overall design, okay? So I started with this dramatic sky in the sunset scene, the golden hour, and started to remove this blue color from the sky because it will create contrast and it will grab your attention, which I don't want because I would I want the whole attention to be to the product itself. So I used color balance to remove some of the blue tones. So I added some green tones, some yellow tones and some uh, reddish tones. As you can see here is before and after. Next thing, I wanted to remove this uh, blue part. So I just created a selective color and selected the blues and removed them. The next element is the horizon mountains, these mountains. So I wanted to create like four mountains because I want the focus to the product itself. In my friend's visual, the plants were so close to the product that I couldn't just neglect it, okay? So in my version, I wanted to create like a four mountains, uh, which will not grab your attention. And then color corrected it using uh, the color balance. Of course, we added a lot of yellow and magenta. And uh, the next thing, as you can see right now, the hazing effect here is very bright. You know why? Because this, the, the main image was in the known time. So this was the main image. As you can see right now, the sky is very bright. That's why the horizon or the hazing, the atmosphere effect in this part was very bright. So I wanted to decrease the lightness of this part specifically. That's why I chose, as you've already guessed, selective color. Why selective color? Because selective colors enables you to choose specific color and then edit on it. That's what I have already done. I have chosen the whites, which is the highlights of the image, and then started to decrease the, its brightness. The next thing I wanted to blend this horizon line in a better way. As you can see right now, the colors here are not the same as this 
colors so i started to create uh, like a hazing effect with a normal brush with a normal color i just picked this color from here and that's it here's before here's after with a soft rounded brush and when i did so i noticed that we needed to put the same color in the background also so i just created a new layer and painted some color with the same color in the background here is before and here is after before and after as you can see when we painted this color the sky part here in the sun area it's not bright so we need to create like this the sun effect that's why i created it with a, a solid color adjustment layer with this color i ch changed the blending mode into screen just painted a simple mask as you can see Let's see, here is before and here is after. This is just to create a glow effect for the sun. All right, everything for the background is good. Okay, let's have a look before everything. Here is the, su the sky, correction, the mountains, the correction, and then correcting the atmosphere effect and adding the sun glow. All right, let's jump into the next part, which will be this table. But before adding this table, when I added this table, uh, as you can see this area needs to be extended that I have did so with a simple extension using duplicated this area and put it right here it's a very simple and straightforward part so now we need to care about this table it needs a lot of work actually the first thing it is very bright so we needed to darken it a lot <laughs> and at the same time we needed to add some color to it that's what i have done using curves i've just decreased the brightness increased the contrast a little bit and at the same time i added some reddish tone to the mid tones here using curves and added some yellowish tone as you know when we decrease the blues we increase the yellow tones okay that's the first thing here's before here is after next i wanted to create like dynamic lighting because obviously the sun is here so we need to have like some lights here some shadows in this area so i've done this using and uh, this time using hue saturation layer whatever the uh, way you're comfortable with you can do it with curves uh levels whatever you want but here i preferred the hue saturation because i wanted this area in which uh, we have lights to be somehow um, bright and at the same time shifted in colors to the yellow because this is golden hour and i added some shadows here to make it dynamic lighting and some lights here with the same way but here i've used curves i've just increased the brightness and painted the lightness here okay now let's care about our product but before putting our product in this visual i've noticed that the table and the background somehow close to each other there is no separation between them so i started to create this separation by number one increasing the hazing effect as you can see i've done this using curves okay so i've shifted the shadows i opened up the shadows because i wanted to make this uh, part of the mountains to look like it's far away and as you know the hazing effect increase with distance so i opened up the shadows and i shifted its colors towards reddish color and more of somehow magenta color shifting the colors from the curve okay here's before it's very contrasty and it looks close and now it looks somehow far away and next i darken the closer areas here using curve these areas now you can see that this table is kind of splitted or uh, separated from the background and the next thing i started to increase the darkness of this area and then i have put this smoke or fog or whatever you can call it uh, to also separate it from the background and after doing all these adjustments i find that the background is very bright 
so I just darkened it, dimmed it a little bit. Okay, now it's time to care about the main product itself. This is the best image I could possibly uh, find in Shutterstock, but if you want to create like a commercial visual like this, you need to take photos uh, by yourself because of course we didn't want this out of focus effect here uh, because of the lens choice was wrong so but anyway this was what in what we can use so i've used this image and i start to select it but the challenge here was that there are some areas that should be transparent uh, you should see the background from through these parts so i started to create two uh, layers or two versions of the layer one of them uh, I put in multiply to only show the dark pixels okay here I chose the blending mode into multiply and the other one into the normal blending one uh, mode but I started to mask some parts so the trick here is to erase some parts like this with the soft rounded brush but if I lift it like this it doesn't look professional at all so I created another one and I put it into the background using multiply that this fix it of course this area will not be visible as you can see it right now so now let's care about blending this product into the environment itself I started with the shadows so I created like simple shadow this one very simple one and then started to correct the colors the luminosity of the product and the saturation here we i want to give you an advice in commercials like this you need to show the product even if it's not 100 percent realistic visual but you need to give attention to the product okay firstly i have just decreased the values of the lightness then created some highlights in these areas using selective color I assume that you know the basics of Photoshop so you know what is selective color what's color balance curves and all this stuff and next I started to paint some rim lights but soft lights not visible ones using uh, color balance as you can see right now here here as you can see this part was somehow bluish grayish but when we added the color balance it's now ye more yellowish and next I started to put some shadows in these areas because realistically there will not be a lot of sh uh, a lot of light here and I started to add some uh, rim light again some rim lights using hue saturation and while you are working you will notice the problems in your uh, visual so for example after selection this area needs to be adjusted d doesn't look good feels off so I started to darken this area using curves and again after all these adjustments in the shadows I felt like the product itself is dark so I wanted to make it pop and somehow bright that's why I used curves again to make this area shine again this is a commercial design you need to put marketing perspective in addition to artistic perspective while doing it okay so that was it for this product of course we have uh, final touches but let's jump into the next element which will be this cup I've done the same thing the same process of selection in this cup of coffee so I started with this uh, normal layer and started to erase some parts as you can see right now here is what I have erased and then using another layer with multiply blending mode I restored some data and if you ask me how I created this transparent effect I have selected the white colors using select and color range I've selected the white colors and then erased it with 50% flow brush not with 100% flow so next thing is the shadows for this 
cup so I started to put some shadows simple shadows I have explained uh, all this I full links tutorial and next to there there should be some lights here uh, we don't want to get involved into a lot of physics but if you just put a flashlight into any cup of water you will find some light spot like this behind the glass because the water itself refract the light and accumulate it into one point whatever whatever what it is but there should be some point of light like this here and then we need to correct these colors of course so i started with uh, putting some yellowish tones using hue saturation uh, some darkening in this right part because it is somehow bright so I wanted to darken it a little bit and see here is before and here is after next I darken it again because it wasn't look uh, right and next some final tweaking in this area after putting the product itself in possession I've just created a new solid solid color with a screen blending mode and started to create like a glow effect can you see this using some glow brushes I started to paint some glow effect around the cups here is before here is after before and after let me just duplicate it to for you to see the effect itself here is an exaggeration of the effect okay but we don't want it to be all this light so we just put some simple touches and one last thing is this smoke overlay uh, of course this adds a lot into the commercials it, it simply adds flavor to the visual as you can see here is before and after okay the next element was in my friend's visual was this coffee beans so i wanted to replicate it i found this image of the coffee beans cut it with the uh, pen tool and started to blend it in the composite started with simple shadows the contact shadows and then started to darken it started to darken these areas leaving these areas bright and then corrected the colors as you can see this very cyanish green is not realistic in this mode so i shifted its color and decreased its saturation and then using color balance i added some touches of yellow and i felt like this area is bright so i darken it again adding some um, rim lights here from the sun and here we go it's blended now all the elements are in possession but we need to reframe the composition we need to guide our eyes or the viewer's eye to the product that's why I have put these plants to the left and the same kind of plants to the right. Okay, of course it has some adjustments. Let me show you quickly. Here is the plants layer and I have cut it using channels, I think, or color range. I don't remember actually. And then corrected the lightness values, correcting the shadows putting some highlight I have done the same thing in the to the right but with a simpler one you know because I just wanted to frame it without adding a lot of uh, elements into the visual okay now everything in possession now we need to put some touches to spice everything up so I have went to the Sun I noticed that it needs a lot of work actually there is no Sun here so i started with this sun overlay let me show you the layer itself here is the layer i put it changed the blending mode into screen tweaked it a little bit and now as you can see it looks cool and then i created it with a solid color adjustment layer you're putting the screen uh, blending mode i've just created some glow effect Okay, as you can see here is before and after some simple glow effects let me show you the uh, mask here are the effects it's like glow effect around 
the focal elements. And next I create, I put this lens flare for the sky. It adds a lot actually. So let me show you, here is the lens flare overlay. I put it here and put it into a screen blending mode and um, it adds some realism to the reflections of the sun before, after. And um, when I looked at the visual, I, I, I felt like we want some glow effects here in the glass. So I put some glow effects using the same techniques screen blending mode with um, some um, lens flare brushes or glow brushes that's it here's before and after and the final thing was creating like vignetting effect around the visual and putting the final color grading and putting everything together using the color grading using some adjustment layers some techniques creating flares like this all this i have um, explained every tiny detail in the full version you will find it so yeah uh, this was a long one here is before and here is after my edits if you want to have your design to be reviewed like this in the next episodes please send it to me in the link in the description and potentially it will be in the next tutorials all right guys thanks for watching and please let me know in the comments what do you think about these episodes should we do more of this and thanks guys peace